Hoi, ik ben Deborah. Ik ben vandaag bij Theo. En uh, Theo uh, gaat een nieuw kapsel bij mij uh, aanmeten. Ik wil ja. wel graag een boblijn. Ja. Maar het is wel een, uh, ja, een leuke metamorfose. Ja. Mensen, denk ik. Deborah wants uh, to stay in a bob. Can I care for uh, color lights? So she can get red effects into her beautiful hair. And she turns around to show you her current hair. So I'm a rondje draaien. You can already see how nice it falls. It will be more exciting. Hello friends on YouTube. Gonna do the Bora's hair. Now she has real tough hair. Strong, a lot. But gonna give her a beautiful new bob. And I'm gonna work with color lights. So I'm gonna give red effects into her hair. Of course the style lights always do with protection. Then I wet the hair, then I can start. Using always Olivia Garden Brush, because it's the best tool to work on the hairs. I can see also some light colors in her hair, so I can give the outgrow a little bit darkness before I start with the other colors. Pin the hairs up on the skull bone, into the line of the waves. You see a little wavy hair. And I'll turn around so you can see what I'm going to do. Okay, start in the neckline. So turn her so you can watch with me. Zoom in on the line. Which me later nodig. Wet it some more. I'm going to create the bob into the natural fall. So I have now a fall into the neckline like this. This sticks out, so it's not the most beautiful to have. But also kind of watch at the beautiful chin lines she has, so she take that also into the hairstyle. Take the hairs up, start in the underlines, and work my way up. Work in the opposite line as the line I get on the other side. This creates also a lot of volume. Like a sock, there's no damage in there, so you have nothing on. Is it then a sort of snijding? Yeah, this mess is 190 degrees. Do you feel it? No. And it makes sure that your hair is very close. It's very closed. Do you feel it? Yes. Do You see how wonderful the skull helps, helps me to get the most beautiful bob on her. Holding the line in the neckline, ultra soft, so you have no hard lines. Otherwise it looks like weak, I don't like that. So the lines will stay like this. Only give balance it to the thickness. Ja, 190 graden is zin. Ja, dat is heet, ja. Maar Take waarom, it, yeah. waarom doe je het in eigenlijk het Engels? Heb je de meeste viewers voor jou ja, in het Engels? Ja, zeker. Internationaal gezien is dat gewoon de grootste groep. Hè? Oh, echt? Want ja. Dat kun je ook zien. Dus ja, uh, je, je ziet wie je volgers zijn. Ja. Turn us some more. So you can watch into the lines. Now I created this line. You can see already the fall of this hair. So I take the hairs in the opposite line. Then I'm going to connect on the line. Go in, and this way I get a graduation, and I'm certain that the hairs will flow to the front. In the meantime, we talk Dutch to each other, we are in the Netherlands, so that's why. For those who think which language do you talk? That's Dutch. First baseline of the bob, just above the skull bone. Set the hairs aside, wetting in between. Turn it like I did on the other side, over the rounding of the skull. Go in on that connection line I just created. 
hold my comb also in the same lines as the skull lines. create a beautiful soft line. You get a beautiful volume. When I take it to the side you can see this. See how wonderful this volume is. Take the hairs up till I get on the center of the crown. Lift the hairs again over the line, watch over the line, and lay the hairs in the fall of the skull lines. In the meantime, I also watch where I need a bit dark color. I can see this, of course. That is it a lot. <laughs> Heb je veel dark color nodig? Nee, valt van mij. Oh, gelukkig. Nee, het zijn vooral bij slaap en zo, die stukjes. Do the same, of course, every time. On the opposite line. Again, every time watch how the hair falls. So to create the best fall into the neckline. The more I come to the front, the more I tra travel with the hairs into the inlines. So this, this line I take up like that, lay it into the inner lines and connect it like that. So I have even a better fall to the sides. Go straight from the center of the skull to behind the ears. Set the hairs aside. It falls me with your lag, what after him? Yeah, Again, take the hairs over the rounding, take them to the sides. Here is a little bit layering. So then I pull the hairs off of the skull. Watch in the feeling over the same lines. So don't take it on the lines, you just leave it free. So this way I can. Easy see the lines where I need to go. This is also the other side. Take them up, hold them from the skull, watch at the sides over the skull lines. And somebody told me not to tell all the lines I'm creating on YouTube, but I think that's what I like the most to tell you how to. Uh, know what I do, because it's the only way to explain to you what I do by telling the lines. So if there's one person that doesn't like it, sorry for that, go to the end and take it like it is. See how wonderful. Now the skull supports the bob. Going to the sides. Take the hairs up in the opposite line of the chin line. Set the upper hairs. Jet. Yeah. Take the hairs to the back. See on my comb where my line is. So take them to the back. This adds some more length to the front. Lay the hairs in this wonderful roundings. Use the natural lines. Enjoying the wonderful ears. <laughs> yeah, mooie oren. Ja, die is wel aardig. Ja, die is goed gelukt. Die, die linker die, uh, die staat het veld ervan op. Oh, ah, nee, dat niks. <laughs> Niemand heeft perfect. Nee. nee. En als plasje ruggen doet, is het ook niet perfect. Ik heb... Again, use the natural roundings. Feel the waves. Start in the back. Lay it on the same lines and just cut. And what's the most beautiful thing about this scissor, this tool, is that it seals the ends, so the hairs will be look feeling 
also ultra feminine and sexy. It stays soft for more than four months. So especially in summertime, it's wonderful. So now I have first lines of my bob on the right side. So I turn it to the other side. Like I did on the other side. Use the natural yeah. roundings. Is that me out? Huh? <laughs> the oar. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah what <laughs> that you say? <laughs> yeah. Lay the hairs once over the same line. Start where I found the connection. And travel gently to the front. Once again, by taking the hairs to the back, I add some more length to it. Because the line, this line is longer than that line, so I get more length at the front. Coming to the last line on my bob. Do the same, find the lines. And gently lay the hairs there where they need to go. Go in the center, from the center of the top skull. Watch if I had all the hairs. Take the hairs to the back and just take off a little bit because there was a layering and I don't want to have too much layering. So I do a light, slight cross control. And then I can go to the front. Coming at the front, this is a natural piling, so it always goes that way. Now knowing that, take the hairs up, go in the opposite lines, knowing that I created that line, so I take the same line into the fringe line. Take a new line on it, take it a little bit higher. Every time lifting some new hair on it. This ultra dry in the studio, so you can see this by how fast the moist get out of the hairs. It is your heart sick at all. These are okay. Behalf the piss from the stove. Please. Boven hebben ze een hond, dus daar komt het door. Die komt wat te voer af. Hmm. Gaat de lok nu naar de linkerkant? Nee, gewoon een manier van knippen. Nee, is de manier van knippen. Hij gaat weer precies dezelfde kant. So now, when I lay it back, I have a much softer line. So also part on the front. Take this on the other line, the opposite line, and just on the forehead. I lay a little bit hair. This gives a little bit of curlies effect. But women are girls, so... And when you do this with a knife, you can always lay them into the line. If you don't want to see it. But I think it looks a little bit cute. But what she don't want it, you lay it into the line. Because she did it with a knife, you don't see the line anymore. Connect the fridge to the sides. Gently lay the hairs back. Grab the weight them into the fall. So take them up, lay them into the fall. 
wonderful. <laughs> On top, thin it a little bit, not much. This I just do with the tip of my knife. All the haartjes. So now I can make her a collar. Yeah, even snow. The protection for coloring. Now I start with the lighter colors. So therefore I take uh, three zero, this natural black brown, and put this only on the outgrow. Take the hair so with the tip of my brush and apply the color. The color is uh, of kin and it's a beautiful color. Make a photo of the products into the video and they are vegan also. For those who care for the world. Now so far the dark color. Now I lay without touching the outgrow and just want to set in the hairs back. Then I'm going to work with foils. Now I'm going to work with the red colors. This I made with uh, 30 volume, it's 9%. So now I start with the red colors. So I take some parts out of the hairs. Take a foil. Lay it into my wet hair. Applying it. Close it. And take a new line. Not too much, just a playful effect. That what I want to color is into the foils. So now I close my foil. Then I'm gonna wait for 25 minutes with some heat. And then we're back to show you the end result. And styling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we go for a coffee and tea. And for those who watch a lot of my videos know we're back in less than a second. So stay focused. And if you like, subscribe to my channel. You can help me with that. I'm not supported by any brands. So I do all the things myself. Don't go away. We'll be back. Bye. Mupski. <laughs> okay, back from coloring. After 25 minutes heat. We Washed it out, of course. So now I take uh, a shape as product of uh, Lacme. And Lacme is a product that comes from the Mediterranean, comes from Barcelona. I'm gonna blow dry this nice hair. Start with a medium brush, but when I'm done, I think I'm gonna work with my hands because I like her natural moves in there.
Ik ben benieuwd of Monique is de zomer ook nog mee gaat werken met het filaatje. Oh ja. Dat is ook wel eens lekker. Ga je dat weer doen bij ja, de zo, ja. Sofa blow drying. Now because she is very strong, I use the polish of Lacme. It's also a product of the Mediterranean. It's a soft wax. It brings a beautiful condition to the hair. It smells good. Yeah, it smells really nice. But it's also very easy to apply on the hair. When you go swimming, for example, or to the, 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 the coastlines, and you take this with you, you can hold the condition of your hair in a real good condition. Mm. Dat ruikt echt heel lekker, hè? Ja. Nou, zo so far de kat en de kool. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for being my model. Oh, graag gedaan. We see each other next video and she will turn around to show you the end result. Yeah, happy with it. <laughs> I want uh, to stay in a bob. Can I care for uh, color lights? So she can get red effects into her beautiful hair. And she turns around to show you her current hair. So I'm going to show you. You can already see how nice it falls. It will be more exciting. <laughs>